So we finally have our room put all together for the most part. There's a few stuff that we haven't put up yet, but pretty much we're all done. So like I promised a while ago, well, a week later, I will show you guys everything. So starting out like from the door, we have our schedules. And then we have our closet with our Ryuk poster in here. And just my clothes, her clothes, headbands. And then we have our mirror, which has a bunch of anime things around it. CGG, which I like. And I like this one too, though I haven't ever watched that, but I want to. There's Aura down there, and there's another one down here. We have, oh, this is Comfy Chair. We have this really cool poster that changes seasons when you walk past it, which I believe everybody has loved when they come in here. Like, most people who come in here for the first time, they have to say something about that. We have another mirror. And we have some sweets that are Alyssa's. And this gorgeous post wall scroll. I'm going to do that again, calling posters wall scrolls. And we have the mantle, which has my plant, Pikachu, wolf stuff from Jerry, little frogs from Japan, another anniversary gift from Jerry, my geisha, a snow globe from my friend Mike. More things from Japan, and then Alyssa's drawing statue, her cat, and her little statues, and her friends and sister. And then we have her vibe posters, because that's Alyssa's favorite League of Legends character. And then panda calendars, because pandas are the best. And then a nice Oran poster. And then... This is Alyssa's desk, which is very colorful, especially because she has an Alienware laptop now. It's absolutely beautiful. And then over here we just have our food and garbage. And we put magnets all over here. And then there's, his name is Bill, right? Yeah. Tokyo Hotel with Bill, because that's Alyssa's one of her favorite people. Mm -hmm. She said she likes him as much as I like vampires, so that means she wants to marry him, basically. And then we have my Pikachu, which I got from the anime store the other day, or comic store. And some pictures up there. The one's just flowers, the other one's a wit uh, a mill that reminds me of home because we have that picture, not that exact one, but a picture of the same mill in our living room. Then a picture I took when I was on vacation in Ohio, and the last one is a picture of Tokyo from when I was in the Tokyo Tower in Tokyo, Japan. And I'm going to put stuff up there, but I haven't yet. A little magnetic board with my sunglasses and some magnets of places I've traveled to. And then more stuff from Japan. I don't know what that says, so if you know, feel free to tell me. Then we have our fan, which has been a lifesaver. And then Alyssa's little nook. And then Alyssa's bed, which is extremely dark under here. It's awesome. She has a fire, you're not gonna be able to see it. She has a fire fall poster back there. It's pretty cool. She loves it a lot, so that's why it's by her. Then we have a spot for us to hang our fans, which I also got in Japan, but they work, like, amazingly well. And then we have more anime over here. And then my bungee chair, my dresser, our alarm clock, and my makeup and stuff. Daryl and Sally. 
my desk and pictures of my friends and family. There's a costume. And then we have more anime up there. So that's basically everything. So then at night time we kind of turn our lights off sometimes and we have our mood lighting because you know it just makes us feel so much better. So this is kind of what the room looks like when it's like that. And sometimes we'll have the desk lamps on, sometimes we'll have them both off and we'll just have the closet light on and shining out from the closet a little bit. But this is just like really nice, especially if one of us is sleeping and the other one's still trying to do stuff. I personally absolutely love this over here. I think it looks fantastic. Basically, every single person who's come into our room has said it's absolutely beautiful and that they love it. And they're surprised of how much stuff we have on the walls. And they say, like, all their rooms are so, like, plain and boring. And everybody's impressed. So, I love my room. How do you feel about our room, Melissa? I love our room. Like, look at it. How can you not love this room? How could you not love this? It's so pretty, and it's so friendly, and inviting, and colorful, and inspiring, and all these positive words I could use to describe it. So, we're pretty happy living here. I think uh, in a week there's going to be a lift on a hold to change your rooms, and I don't think that I'll be applying for an application anytime soon. One, because I have a really cool roommate. Two, because this room is just too beautiful to leave. My roommate, too. She's too beautiful to leave as well. So that's that, as promised. I'm gonna leave off with this, because I think that's the best part of the room. <laughs>